you should first know that the idea the earth is not flat first appeared in ancient Greece with Pythagoras. He said the earth could be any shape, even a pyramid, except flat shape. Then in the early 4th century BC, Plato wrote about the spherical earth. He said the earth looked like one of those balls made of 12 pieces of skin. Then it was around 330 BC that his former student Aristotle provided evidence for the spherical shape of the earth. He said the earth is spherical and at the center of the universe, and the moon, sun and other planets revolve around the earth. But in his model the place of the earth and the sun has changed. Aristotle said that when ships leave the shore, near the horizon first the hull disappears, then the rig. Aristotle argued that first the hull disappears because the earth is spherical, and the ship gradually goes down, and eventually disappears altogether. It was at this time that spherical earth knowledge gradually began to spread throughout the world. And then with the advancement of science and technology, the earth proved to be spherical. But for decades, some have believed that the earth is flat, and of course, their number is increasing every day. Belief in the flat earth in the modern era, began with English author Samuel Robotham based on the findings of the Bedford surface experiment, which later led to the publication of a book called Zetetic Astronomy. But what is Bedford surface experiment? The Bedford Surface Experiment is a series of experiments performed over 10 kilometers of the Bedford River in the United Kingdom. In the location selected for all experiments, the river continued in a straight line 10 kilometers northeast of the village of Velny. According to Robotham, this river is the most ideal place to measure the curvature of the Earth. If the Earth is a sphere with a circumference of 25,000 miles, the surface of the water must have a certain degree of curvature. That means there should be an 8-inch curvature or reduction in the first 1 mile. In the second mile the curvature will be 32 inches. In the third mile, 72 inches to the end. The first experiment at this location was performed by Robotham in the summer of 1838. He went into the water with a telescope, and 8 centimeters above the water level, he watched his colleague inside a boat. The boat slowly moved away from him with a flag 1 meter above the water level. He reported that the boat remained in sight for the entire 10 kilometers to the Welny Bridge, while according to spherical earth rules, the top of the rig had to be about 11 meters below his line of sight. He published these observations under the pseudonym Parallax in 1849. This experiment was repeated many times with similar results. On July 25, 1896, Ulysses Grant Morrow, the controversial editor of a newspaper, conducted a similar experiment to prove that the earth is not flat but spherical. But what he saw was not pleasant for him. Samuel Shenton replaced the Universal Zetetic Society in 1956 with the Flat Earth Society. He condemning the space agencies for the photos and images taken by the astronauts, claimed that it's easy to see how their photos and images were taken with wide-angle lenses, which easily deceived the human eye. Convex photos can be taken with these lenses. For example, this image was taken without a lens. But this image was taken with a lens. Do you see the Earth as spherical when you walk on the ground? They have a convincing answer for you too. This is a scientific fact that cannot be denied. As the density of air in the Earth's atmosphere decreases at an altitude above ground level, all light rays that travel almost horizontally bend downward, so that the line of sight is curved. Let's take a closer look at their ideas. First of all, you should know that according to them, the Earth is flat and the North Pole is in the center of the Earth, and around the Earth is surrounded by an ice wall 45 meters high.
This flat earth has a sun and a moon that revolve around it. The sun begins its journey from the winter solstice. In this orbit, the speed of the sun is faster than other orbits, which is the largest orbit. For the next three months, the sun will travel slightly smaller and slower each day until vernal equinox. At this time, the sun takes a spiral path to the equator. Then, for the next three months, the sun's orbit becomes smaller and slower every day until the summer solstice. When the sun reaches its smallest orbit, it follows the same path as before, but in the opposite direction. For the next three months, the sun will once again begin to expand its orbit and increase its speed until the autumnal equinox, and then the sun will return to the equator. In the next three months, the sun will expand its orbit and increase its speed until the winter solstice, which has the last and largest orbit and the highest speed, and the same cycle will be repeated. The moon has a similar annual direction of rotation, but the moon never changes its speed. Therefore, according to the latitude of the moon and observations, it takes about 25 hours for the moon to orbit. That is why we can see the moon in the morning, noon and night at different times and places. Perhaps the most important thing that gives hope to the flat earth believers is the Antarctic Treaty. This treaty prevents all independent exploration in Antarctica and calls it illegal. If you study history, you will see that the ancients knew about the icebergs that surrounded the earth. Kof Mountain is depicted in most of the old maps and shows that the ancients were able to reach Kof Mountain. In all the civilizations that have referred to the Kof Mountain, another thing that they have in common is that they believe that the sky has an end that reaches the same mountains and that no one can cross a certain area anymore. Flat Earth believers use the same technology that proves the Earth is spherical and proves that the Earth is flat. For example, it is easy to prove that Aristotle was wrong in his hypothesis. When Aristotle's ship disappeared on the horizon and went down. Take a super zoom telescope and pull the ship up. Now you will see that the ship will go straight. However, this kind of proof comes from a technology that we are not the researcher and is almost beyond our power. But we can test this one ourselves. Maybe a question is on your mind. So how do day and night come into being? Well the answer is easy. Consider a 20 meter hall with a lamp hanging from the ceiling. The whole hall cannot be lit with one lamp because there are restrictions on the distance of the lamp from the ground and the amount of lighting. Night and day are happen in the same way. The moon also plays a big role in proving that the earth is spherical. I talking about lunar eclipse. Because the lunar eclipse occurs only when the earth is between the moon and the sun and the earth's shadow falls on the moon. But there is a problem. In this case, the lunar eclipse should occur only at night. According to them, there is an invisible object in space that whenever that object is placed between the Earth and the Moon, the Moon is not seen, 
which we call the lunar eclipse phenomenon. There are many people like me who either dream of traveling around the earth, or have made this dream a reality and traveled around the earth. But did you know that to date no human has traveled around the earth from north to south even by plane? Of course, no one has tried to do that. Why? Because of the Antarctic Treaty. Flat Earth believers are also suspicious of airlines. For example, if Earth is a sphere, the only logical way to fly from Sydney to Chile is a straight line over the Pacific and stay in the Southern Hemisphere along the way. Refueling can be done in New Zealand if needed. In fact, flights from Sydney to Chile go to the Northern Hemisphere, stopping at Los Angeles International Airport and departing again. This path is not logical at all in the spherical Earth model, but it seems quite logical in the flat Earth model. Look at these pictures. These are the logos of some international organizations. What do you find unusual about these logos? Yes, the flat ground map has been used. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button to receive more videos.